who missed out on our workshop at Out Loud, uh, or for those who were there and would just like a refresher, uh, I'm just gonna walk you through uh, a little tutorial on how to draw yourself using a free software called Klecky. So first, what will we learn today? We're gonna learn how to use some digital tools like brushes, layers, imported images, and more to draw yourself. And we'll be using a template today, but feel free to start completely from scratch if that's what you would prefer. Um, and definitely you'll have some opportunity to play around. Uh, so the first step is to go to this URL right in the middle of the screen here, and it will take you to a Google Drive that we have set up uh, where you'll be able to download the two images that are there. Uh, so just download those, and then step two is to go to klecky.com, and we'll continue the workshop from there. All right, so whether you're on a phone, a tablet, or an iPad, or a computer, your screen should look something like this, and no matter what you're on, you will be able to access the site, which is really, really handy. Uh, and you'll still have access to all of the same features that someone on a computer would have as well. Um, but in any case, this is what it should look like. If you are on a phone or an iPad slash tablet, there should be a little like black box here that'll let you um, kind of toggle in and out of this sidebar. If you click it, it'll you know go in so that you can see the rest of your screen. Um, but anyways, this is in general what it should look like. And if you are on a touch screen, um, phone or, or tablet, I do recommend um, toggling this screen sensitivity button and turning it off because uh, when you do turn it off, it does allow for just like more consistent um, kind of uh, line work. Uh, so here's your brush function. There is a paint bucket there, there's text, there's shapes. Um, if you click here, you'll have access to your layers, which is really, really handy. I'm just gonna click here. So this is how you add a new layer. And then this is the undo button. So if you make any mistakes, you can easily just press that. Uh, and then there's an edit bar. Feel free to play around with these. We won't really be using them today, but uh, they are there and then file. So in order to import our images, we will go to file and then import. And we are going to find our um, templates here. So we're going to open that and then we're going to import it as a layer. So that way you'll be able to resize it based on your needs. And then just click OK. And if we go over here into our layers, it is there in a layer, which is super, super convenient. And then we're just gonna do that, repeat that same step. And we're going to do as layer and you can resize it and just move it off to the side a bit. Cool. Uh, and then the next thing that we are going to do is I'm just gonna delete these extra layers. I'm not sure what's on them. Uh, and just add a new one right on top of those. We're going to go to our fill bucket and we are going to just eyedropper tool our skin tone here. So I'll just do this one. Uh, again, confirm that I'm on the right layer, which is just a new one. And then go ahead and fill those in. Perfect. If you go to fill in the body and it fills in everything else, that's just because your black lines aren't fully extended to the bottom. So you can just use your brush tool and fill those in there. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and delete the skin tone box. And it's always good to rename your layers just so you can keep track of them. I'm just going to rename that as skin tone. I'm going to do another and name it something like shirt. And so in order to start doing that, we can go to our brush, make sure we're on the right layer. Again, always good to double check. 
and resize it. I'm going to continue with the black outline that we see sort of everywhere else. And then I'm going to add some arms and go ahead and choose our shirt color. Let's just do orange, sure. And then go into fill and again fill that in. And so that way, if I decide that I really don't like this shirt or certain parts of it, uh, then I can just go over here, go back to brush, find our eraser, awesome. And I can then just erase the shirt and that way it won't erase anything else that I have done here. So that's why it's important to kind of um, have as many layers as you need and that way you can, you know, move them above, below. If you want to hide a layer on um, this, it's a little different than Photoshop. Uh, you can just decrease the opacity there and then re-increase it when you do want to see it again. Uh, so yeah, go ahead, have fun, and I would love to see what you create. Feel free to message us on Instagram uh, at Digital Creator North and send us what you do. Uh, but yeah, feel free to just do a little self-portrait here. It's super fun and free and easy, which is definitely great. One quick thing before you go, just make sure that you take note of this little blue button way up here. Uh, this is how you will download and save your image. Sadly, Clucky doesn't give you the ability to save it on the cloud or to come back later. Um, so if you get into a point and you're getting really invested in your work, just make sure that you save it as soon as that thought kind of pops into your head, just in case maybe your phone dies or uh, your computer dies or something like that, uh, just so that you don't lose it. So again, just save it here and then send it to us later.